It's still the ballot 2023, and this is the general elections in the country where Nigerians are going to the polls to elect the president and members of the National Assembly. Uh, of course, uh, more elections are coming in March, but today is a day where Nigerians will decide who becomes their president and who sits and represents them at the National Assemblies, both the upper chamber and the lower chamber. But let's uh, change the course of our conversation. Even though we're going to be giving you updates and fillers from different parts of the country as our correspondents continue to patch us in, uh, we're being joined in the studio by Tunde Kolawale and Francis Chilaka. They're back with us in the studio. We're going to move to talk about education. Education is very important. And we're not just going to be talking about formal education, but every form of education. Um, I want to say thank you, gentlemen, once again, for being back in the studio. Thanks for keeping us. Great, great. Um, <laughs> They say that education is the bedrock of every nation. And, and every time we talk about education, we're talking about the pen and the paper and going to a classroom. But then how many, um, uh, how streets um, uh, educated are we? Uh, let me say, you know, we, we're book educated, but then we're not necessarily educated in other ways. Um, so the average Nigerian, how much um, of non-paper education do we have, especially a firm grasp of how our polity works. I'll start with you, Francis. Um, I, I, I don't understand what you mean by streetwise education, because if you're talking about streetwise education, then a lot of people actually shouldn't be educated, because streetwise doesn't mean education. It just means that you're smart. Mm -hmm. But when you bring it down to our electoral process, the problem is not that Nigerians are not educated. The problem is that some people have decided on their own not to abide by the rules of the game. They've decided on their own to fashion out a different lifestyle for themselves when it comes to the elections. Take, for instance, when we talked about the redesign of the Naira, the federal government gave, I think, October to December. People just felt this government is just wasting time. People are just wasting their time. People have their own um, mindset of what they want. And a system does not work like that. The people cannot have a mindset that determines how the government should work. It is the government that says, this is how we want this ball to be played, this game to be played. The people must fall in. So it, it, what we have at play is the fact that there is a disconnect between the people and the government. Mm -hmm. And when you have that, you have a lot of problem on your fingertips. Mm. All right, Chilaka, we'll, we'll come in much later. We'll come to, back to talk, to about, talk about education. education but let's mm. just uh, wrap up now uh, and talk about the security situations that um, have been reported across and various parts of the country. Uh, there have been reports of violence around the Suri area of Lagos, uh, uh, Lagoshi. We also had reports uh, in uh, Borno State and even INEC officials were attacked in Waza. Uh, I understand we'll take that report and we'll come back. We'll not get your yes, reactions. we'll get your uh, reaction before, before we wrap, we wrap up. Let's take that and um, trap now. Some serious soldiers here. They thought that come to start up the place. They have started already. Beating people. Both women and they old women. They are coming from the other They have destroyed everything. They have destroyed everything. They have destroyed everything. For shoot people and they are injuring people with tears and breaking it on their heads and everything. You see, they are still pursuing some people. Back mm. to the ballot uh, 2023, <laughs> and uh, reports of violence everywhere. Jaconde, I will just receive a report. Mm. Uh, we, we hear that in Jaconde, um, folks came to the polling unit, scattered everything, destroyed every single thing that was there. Uh, same thing for Suru Larry. Uh, and we're seeing so many things coming from Lekki, uh, very unusual. Um, uh, we also have uh, visuals from Suru Larry. Let's not forget that th there were reports uh, that um, sudden, a certain government official came with thugs mm. and then, of course, uh, tried to scatter um, and, and disenfranchise people. Um, so th we, those are visuals from um, Akinele Street, uh, Aguda, in Suru Larry. Uh, showing what has happened and people, of course, 
Um, at some point, they, they scampered for safety. Mm -hmm. But I'm beginning to see that maybe they had gathered again to see what they can, um, you know, uh, get from that scene. I'm hoping that they can re retrieve some of the uh, electoral materials that were destroyed by these thugs. Uh, I'm going to come to you, Mr. Uh, 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 yes. Um, mm -hmm. For, like you said, you'd hope that today would not be what we expected and what the naysayers had said. It, although it took a long time. I mean, some people expected that if violence was supposed to break, it would have broken out earlier, but they waited up, up until now. Explain to us what you think the situation is and why it is the way it is. Mm, a, a, a lot. Just like you, Adela, and I will summarize it all. You were talking about education. You gave a very graphic uh, summary of what education should be. There is those early education that we get at home, which is the Omoruabi, what the Yoruba people will call Omoruabi uh, culture. And then, of course, you have uh, the former education, which you go through when you were either in secondary school, university, polytechnic, and all that. And of course, you have those ones that you get on the street. Of all those educations and what have you, what brings about violence are those education that people invite on the street. If you have had a very good former, edu I mean, home education, and then a former in the former environment, too, like the kind of secondary school people like us attended, in which uh, democracy was part of the civic education that we are being given from day one when we entered secondary school. Then you will have seen from violence. Now, with regards to the violence that we are seeing all over the places, and all that, it was already the storm was already gathered. For those who have a very discerning eye, uh, the political party that is in power in the state was already turning to stand among them, said they were teach other truth and what have you. You also have all the opposition party too, that also so in threat uh, all over the places and what have you. And then uh, you look at the utterances of the security chiefs uh, and what have you, even though they have given us the assurances that uh, everything will be well. But can you say from what you are seeing some of these places today that the assurances that they have given uh, actually meet the demands uh, of what you are seeing on ground. I'll give you an example. In all the pockets of those places and all that, there are police stations like um, divisional police stations that are close by to most of those places and all that. And one would have expected that apart from the security arrangements that will be made at the state level, at the federal level, and what have you, the DPOs of each and the particular location where some of these elections are taking place are also supposed to have made their own contingency uh, uh, plan. And you know the law is this. If by chance anybody goes to snatch ballot box or to disturb other people from voting and all that, or do anything that will interrupt the sanctity or the integrity of these elections and all that, the police have the way out. Mm -hmm. And the law empowers them to even fire to kill such persons and what have you. So I would rather want to first and foremost blame the divisional police officers of some of these places. And that is what I've been saying for a long time to come and all that. They say, go and establish a special electoral panel, electoral cause and what. I say, you don't need it. Most of the crime that people commit in the different polling booths and all that, they snatch ballot boxes, destroy them, they burn, they commit assin, they commit murder. Sometimes uh, they will destroy public property and also snatch your answers and all that. Still, these are all issues that are within the jurisdiction of the judicial police officer to handle mm -hmm. without even waiting for either the commissioner of police at the state so level. You don't need the special the panel for all of that. You said? So you don't need a special panel. No, 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 not at all, not at all. So there is, we want to attribute this to a kind of security lapses all okay. over the okay, place. Let's bring Chilaka mm -hmm. into the conversation now. Kola Wale seems to believe that uh, uh, it's. Um, on the part of uh, the whole issues, on the part of our local policing, that they're not really uh, bringing themselves up to bear, as in tackling this head on. Do you really agree? Because uh, from what we've had, enough security uh, operators were deployed across the country. Did you say but enough? According to <laughs> IG, they said, that's, I'm just quoting them, but mm. they said they have adequate security, you know, to police the entire country for the elections. But from what we've seen so far, it's as though that um, they're just pay lip service. At the end of the day, Nigerians are not even safe at polling uh, units. Um, it is sad because um, I, I keep maintaining that we've become a country that we're reactive rather than being proactive. Mm. Um, it's not that we don't know that this violence will erupt. It's not that we don't know that these things will come up. We know. And, you know, showcasing military men on TV, showcasing policemen, is not the point. The point is that how many polling units do you have in the state? How many um, armed officers are you going to post in each of these places? So 
it's, it's, it's being reactive that is a problem. You wait for something to happen, and then you begin to find a solution, instead of you to find a solution before it happens. So these things, we know, I know that there's going to be violence. Everybody seated here knows there's going to be violence. The question is, how prepared? Well, are we done to postpone? Yes, how prepared? Things? Even the soldiers we were told are around, where are they? Where, we can't find them. So if we can't find the soldiers, we can't find the policemen, and then you, you're putting just um, civilians with coppers to, I mean, come on, you know, it, it simply shows that there's a real big fault in the security architecture for this election. Um, I did, you know, talk about the issue of, um, you know, uh, recruitment for security agencies, especially our police. Uh, looking at the percentage of policing uh, in Nigeria, um, to every 500 per persons, we have one police officer, and that's almost a joke, you know. Um, but then we hear promises from the presidency that, oh, that we're going to keep recruiting. And the same goes for the army. I, I, I do not have the correct statistics off the top of my head, um, but we don't have adequate. And that's why I was having a go at Justin, because, I mean, um, with all of that, what we say, oh, well, we have the NSCDC and we have other, you know, uniformed bodies that assist. But what can they do in instances like this where people are coming? with weapons that can actually destroy a man who's carrying a baton. When you say you don't have enough policemen, have you also asked yourself the question, how many of our VIPs have policemen attached to them? Mm. You can have policemen who are meant to protect the lives and property of generality of Nigerians, and you attach them to VIPs. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm a VIP, I have five policemen attached to me. So where do you expect the other policemen that will protect the Nigerians to come from? So we need to think as if there is no box. And how do we think as if there is no box? Any VIP that needs protection, go for uh, a private, private uh, security. Have your bodyguards. Except there is, you know, your life is being threatened. But this whole idea of having uh, policemen who salaries are paid from taxpayers' money following VIPs, for me, is a no-no. Hmm. And that is where this whole problem of lack of personnel comes from. Mm -hmm. uh, just to buttress what before we wrap said. things up because we okay. have just to buttress what he has said there was even a statistic from a former IG of police who said that uh, at a time about 500 policemen just like you said 180 of them were attached to individuals yeah. not too long ago here in Lagos a musician who had some problems at a nightclub mm -hmm. and all that had six policemen attached to him and you ask yourself if you have a country with all these security, a myriad of security challenges and all that, and when there are licensed security uh, agencies and all that and all that, why would you now be deploying policemen paid with taxpayers' money mm. to solve it? In some other clients and all that, I would not believe it that some of these president, the, the president of, uh, of France, that of America and all that, they all have their own private security guard. In addition to what the state might be providing for them, mm. pay from their the own salaries and, the and what have you. Yeah. Then more importantly, and Nora, we often make mistake. I mean, this mistake that it is a regular police that who wears a black uniform that is police. That is not true. I have always insisted and said that in on, on a day like this, there is nothing stopping you from even using last mile official to do certain things. There's nothing stopping you from using the Lagos neighborhood security. But what, but what can they do in terms of policing? A traffic manager knows how to manage traffic. Look at okay, let's take come to a polling mm -hmm. unit with mm -hmm. machetes. <laughs> armed with things that can Let's, destroy the man in a last minute uniform. What well, could he possibly do? Let me do? tell you what they can do. At a time when the Lagos Neighborhood Security Watch was established, which they are not paying attention to, they were deployed to certain places all over Lagos. They just sit down quietly in there, watching what is happening. They never harass, arrest or touch anybody. But as soon as they see a non-becoming or a behavior or a suspicious movement and what have you, what do they do? They use either their phone or their walkie-talkie to get to the nearby police station and what have you. And then before you know it, the policemen would have arrived in there and nip whatever crisis is brewing in the ball. Mm -hmm. When they first started, the statistics showed us that 30% crime rate crashed in Lagos by at about 30%. So if on a day like this you deploy the Lagos in the ball, you deploy the NASMA, 
Lagos MSDCs and what have you. They stay quietly in there and then they watch the movement of things and all that. As soon as these people are gathered and problem is about to start, they know who to contact and then the people who can really quell the crisis mm. will, 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 will be deployed over in there. These are conversations so, that we will continue it's, it's to have, you know, yeah. because the elections are not over right. today. We still have more coming in March. But, but uh, Justin. We must say a very big thank you because we are completely out of time for this session. A very uh, big thank you to Francis Chilaka and of course, uh, uh, today, call our legal practitioner. Many thanks for all of the input. Thanks for having us. Thank you, us. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Well, it's still the ballot. We'll be right back. Uh, we're, we're not even going too far. We're here. We're not going anywhere. We're, we're going education. to be talking education in full swing. Mm. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.